Hello everyone, it's Lukas Wojcik from Go On Board and today I want to talk to you a little bit about how we do things in Go On Board. Uh, I want to talk about Cyberpunk 2077, the board game. It's the project that we are currently working on and uh, we are just a few weeks before launching our campaign on GameFound.com. We uh, invite you to go there to see the page for yourself. Uh, first of all, there is a follow exclusive V with Mantis Blade gift. So uh, we uh, uh, advise you to follow the project now. We also have uh, added a lot more content on the front page of our campaign. So you will be able to read, uh, take a look at the components and uh, the, the different missions that we have there. So, uh, so the links is in the description. And soon we will have a long video with answers to many of the questions that you're sending our way, as we have announced before. But before that, there is one question that needs a longer explanation and maybe showing you a little bit more on how we do things here at Go On Board. So I want to talk about listening to your feedback today. Uh, many of you are asking how and when do we listen to the feedback that we get from the community or maybe from the uh, reviewers, outside playtesters, and how does that affect the way we uh, work on the project we have here. So I will talk about Cyberpunk 277, the board game, as one example, of course, our team and, and our company, we are working on uh, delivering our previous project, The Witcher Path of Destiny, uh, we are still reprinting and uh, handling the Witcher Old World and we have some plans ahead of us. But just to use that game as an example to show you a little bit about our work and our team, people behind the, the game, the, the uh, huge game that we have here in front of you. So with Cyberpunk it started obviously with us talking to CD Projekt Red about two years ago and establishing what we want to do together on that project. We knew that we wanted to create uh, an action-adventure game that will capture both you know, the dynamic action as well as the, the, the story, the city exploration of the video game. Uh, we have done an action-adventure game with them previously, The Witcher Old World. So there are things here that will look or feel similar to that project, but we wanted to make sure that this one stands on its own. It's a unique game uh, very different in many ways from The Witcher Old World as well as different from many other games that you see in that genre. So it started with that and the initial project for the game comes from me but at a quite an early stage the large Go On Board team comes to play. So let me tell you about uh, our Go On Board team which now is over 40 people. So Cyberpunk 2077, the board game, it's a big game. <laughs> the standard version as well as the deluxe version will have a huge amount of components, different missions, uh, things that are different gameplay, visually, uh, thematically. So once you get that game, you will see how much stuff we have in there. You can already see a preview on the game front page. But in the meantime, we are working on some stretch goals or, and some other content that we can bring to this project. So it's a huge endeavor. So we have a project manager or, or product owner that handles all of that. Uh, and it's a guy that wrote stories for our previous games and has been with us for many years. And uh, the first step would be to really get into the mechanics, uh, get deep into playtesting and developing the gameplay. And it starts with me, but at some point, uh, the seven people team of game developers that we have, uh, all of them experience in playtesting, developing, some of them are board game designers themselves, uh, take over. We have two lead developers with the support of the whole development team and they work with on the game internally and they also slowly at some point start to take it outside to playtesting groups, uh, to, to, their, to their friends, to some places that they can slowly start to show parts of the game and, and see how it works outside of our big team. 
the game has its own story, which is an alternative story to the one we have in the video game. Uh, and we have some interactions that you're going to have as you explore the night city. And, you know, the lore for the game is pretty vast. So we have our story team working closely with lore masters at CD Projekt Red to make the whole project work uh, and, you know, elevate the cyberpunk world that we have here. Secondly, we have the graphic design team where we have art, brand new artwork being created by CD Projekt Red and uh, by our artists for this game. We also create the whole iconography, the, the interface, the, the design for this game. So it's thematic, it's uh, useful, and it works well with the mechanics that we have implemented here. And we have uh, uh, four miniature sculptors that are working on the 3D miniatures uh, for, for the game we have here. On top of that, we also are working with outside partners. So we have a team that is bringing that game, even before we show it to you, to show to our local partners that will be handling the, the game on their market. So we are also getting some you know, feedback from them and uh, sl slowly expanding the group of people that have really you know, experienced uh, the, the action and adventure of the the game we have here. And at some point, we also start to show the game to you where you see our marketing team at work, uh, either creating the graphics, the visuals, uh, uh, the videos. So it's over 40 people at Go On Board. And actually, that's why we uh, have implemented a, a, you know, a different way of, of uh, naming the author on the box. We have a game by Łukasz Woźniak and Go On Board to really show you that it's a team effort. And uh, I don't want to get into, you know, too many uh, process specifics, but maybe you have some questions about how our company works internally, and uh, we'll try to answer all the things that you uh, uh, see as interesting, you want to know about us, and uh, we want to share more, and, you know, to make you feel like you are part of our team, because you actually are. Uh, we'll get to that uh, in a second. So before we show the game publicly, there uh, are outside playtesters, uh, partners, as well as reviewers, like we did with Cyberpunk last year, where we were able to show it to uh, Michael from King of Average, uh, Zaku, Devon Talks Tabletop, and uh, get their first impressions, uh, and get their feedback, get their thoughts. And the vast majority of people that playtest that game, they have some wor worries as they sit down, because they know that there are timed phases, right? Uh, the, it's a fully cooperative game. So they have some skepticism questions hanging out there. And of course, there are some people that say, okay, that type of a game is not for me, obviously. But majority of them say that they have fun, they want to play more. So the I want to play again effect here is, is uh, huge. And uh, they see that the you know simple um, rules get expanded as we play another mission and another mission and we play with the different character or with the same character we try out a new development build and most of the time they only see the demo version of the game uh, that i want to address in a second and then we come with the game publicly to you. So there are some reviewers that uh, play it. There are some gameplays that you see and we get your feedback on some of the mechanics or some of the things that you see. And we take all of that feedback under consideration. Uh, we listen to your thoughts and ideas. But as I said, there are things here that are not easy to translate onto a video gameplay or just a game description. So the more you know the game, the more crafting, different weapons, different hacks, uh, different cyberware, and other things that you will encounter in the Night City, you will see, and the different missions with different gameplay mechanics and different components will show you that the rules are easy to grasp, the basic gameplay is smooth, but as you get deeper and deeper, you see that there are ways to really master uh, Cyberpunk, the board game. And of course, there's a point where we show the game to you 
and uh, to the reviewers we show you gameplays game descriptions and there are things that you can observe from the outside but obviously there are things that you, you only understand and feel as you get into the game uh, and for the next few weeks we'll take our time to show you the game in more depth so you understand the product better you see you know how deep it is and how how replayable uh, uh, experience you will get here and thanks to that you will be able you know to really get in on the discussion and really become part of our process with our previous games it has always been our goal to open up hear you out you know bring you in and listen to your idea i will give you just one example from the witcher old world where we were presenting the board game uh, as is to the reviewers, playtesters, uh, partners, and, and the game was um, most of the time praised. Uh, but once uh, we sh have shown it to such a broad public, uh, like through our videos or through our uh, previews, then the idea to differentiate the monster combat uh, really was brought to our attention in full force and actually thanks to your perspective uh, some of the thread goals that we have introduced and they will become a part of a paid expansion uh, called the monster trail uh, some of those mechanics and components were inspired very much inspired by you and uh, that's why we want to take our time and listen and hear you out and make sure that you understand the project because you know we have 40 plus people outside we show it to to playtesters reviewers partners but there are tens of thousands of you so together we believe that we can create something even better we are listening to you now we want to create space for you to become part of the process uh, in the coming weeks and Actually, some of the ideas that you're bringing, they're already in the game. And it's because we are sending to our partners or reviewers or showing to you just a demo version of the game. So out of 13 missions in the campaign, uh, the infinite mission replayability in the afterlife, the exploration that you have uh, through the Night City map book, and the different components that you're going to see there out of all of that we have put just the three missions from the prologue into the demo version because we didn't want to spoil too much we wanted to show you the basics and give you the understanding of how the gameplay works and show you present you what comes next in the game so some of the ideas that you have that are actually already there uh, again uh, i advise you to to go through the game found page and uh, the depth of the gameplay, the variety and uh, the story really comes to life as you sit down to it and play it. And actually, you will play it more than 13 times because I don't believe that you're going to win every time. So, so there is a lot of gameplay there. And I also strongly believe that many of you will go through the campaign multiple times. The story is engaging, the decisions that you take, the... the see the exploration that it's up to you all of that will bring you in and a very wide variety of gameplay experiences that you will have with this one just with this box just with the basic or the deluxe version that you will have is just enormous so we want to create space to talk to you and listen to you better we are hugely excited by the project that we have been playtesting and developing uh, very deeply and and we want to involve you in the project so there is a QA uh, coming up we will try to answer uh, all of the biggest questions that you have if we miss something please tell us and we will follow up we will uh, talk about the game and show you more of it in the coming weeks and uh, the campaign launches on 3rd September we have already revealed uh, the first stretch goal and if we get more funding uh, more people that want to get the game there's more stuff that we may add on top of the uh, huge amount of content that you have already done the first stretch goal is a mini expansion exclusive one johnny silverhand relic which is a cool thematic 
thing that you know experience in the video game now you can experience it here and the more funding we get the more things we may add on for free onto your copy of the game so go to the game found page follow the project post your questions post them anywhere you want but we will choose one of the comments below this video and give them V miniature as a gift. So get involved. And by the way, at the end, as of the day of publishing this video, I am at Comic Con and then I'm coming to Gen Con. So if you see me there, come and say hi. Uh, and uh, maybe I will share something from my experience there. I'm pretty excited uh, to visit and um, get involved. Uh, share your questions, share your thoughts, share your feedback and join the adventure.